What's going on people? Blake from New Vision Security Services and as you can see this is this one is labeled confusion and my wife let me know that there are some people that are watching the videos and they get confused because I use the real Hebrew names and then I use the transliterated names and that is confusing people now she received this message my wife receives messages just like I do um, so I want I labeled this one confusion so that I can unconfuse um, those that are confused and and I'm gonna refer to the scriptures to show you how now in order for you not to be confused, you have to understand that the Hebrew text before it was transliterated, right? Because every time you translate something, whoever is translating it changes a word or two, um, how they feel it needs to be changed. And that can change a lot of things, the intent of the sentence. So that is why I let it be known that going back to the as close as to the Hebrew text as you can get is very, very, very important. Because before the, before our Messiah returns, it's going to be very important that those that are true believers seek the truth back to the Hebrew text before all these versions of different Bibles and words get changed sentences get turned around and the true meaning of something can be skewed just by changing a word or two as we all know so first i'm going to read uh matthew chapter chapter 1 verse 21 all right and and this is when uh mary is This is when the heavenly um, information is being passed down about who Mary is going to give birth to. So, and she shall give birth to a son and you shall call his name Yeshua for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay. Now, that is from the original Hebrew, okay? Now, let me read to you what happened from that uh, Hebrew text and how things came about. Um, how his original, his real name, Yeshua, because remember, these were, in he these were he Hebraic times. This was an American modern English, right? And how, you know, things always get translated into English and then everyone takes that as the truth or the gospel um, but there's always everything has an origin and that's very important everything has an origin and if you are truly seeking your personal relationship with Yeshua and the Father Elohim okay if you want to be set apart, you have to do set apart things. And one of those things are going back and not just following suit with what everyone else is saying and what everyone else is doing or what everyone else calls the father and the son. Because that's what having an individual relationship, your individual relationship is about. It's about your personal walk with them and them revealing things to you that others cannot see or will not see because you are set apart in your own way so let me go on and read this his name is defined for the reader as he shall save his people from their sins the hebrew speaking King of the Jews was given a Hebrew name, Yeshua. His name, Yeshua, 
is the actual Hebrew word for salvation or deliverance. Okay. Uh, the Holman Bible Dictionary a Baptist publication says the word Jesus is the Greek form of Joshua, meaning Yahweh is salvation. Okay. Most people will tell you that the name of the Son of God, right, is Jesus. But that's not his real name. The name Jesus is an English transliteration of a Greek substitute for the real name of the Savior. When the Messiah walked the face of the earth, right, they did not call him Jesus. He was called Yeshua, his real name. Okay. A short study into how English Bibles were translated will lead you to understand that while scholars and scribes translated the text of the scriptures from the original Hebrew scrolls, they transliterated the names of Bible characters. A translation is transference of direct information from one language to another, while a transliteration is a changing of the original word to make it fit another language. Right? Just like if you have someone who's of Hispanic descent and when someone says their name in English, it's not the same. It's how they deem it to be English, not how it's supposed to be. All right. Because of this, Moshe, right, which is Hebrew, in Hebrew became Moses in English. Yermiyahu became Jeremiah and Yeshua became Jesus, right? They were Hebrew. They were not English. But once again, in order to get this kind of info, you have to seek these answers for yourself. You can't depend on no one else because depending on someone else will just have you on that road to just follow suit with what everyone else is saying, what everyone else is doing, and therefore you aren't set apart. You just is follow the leader, right? We want to follow the correct leader, not, you know, a leader here on earth, right? Man is flawed. Man is flawed. Mankind is flawed, right? The problem with this type of conversion is that Jeremiah may be easier to read in English than Yermiyahu, but the true meaning, purpose, and identification with the original name is lost. You know, and it talks about, you know, just let's, an example. Let's say your name is Robert. If you travel to Mexico, Russia, or China, your name would still be Robert. Though the people in these countries might speak Robert with their accent, they wouldn't change your name to fit their language. Doing so would offend you. Is this in this example, your name is Robert, no matter where you go, no matter what other people call you. And the Savior's name is Yeshua, regardless of what we have been taught in the past. Try it. Try calling him his real Hebrew name. Set yourself apart from the pack. Don't just conform. Remember, right? We are to be in the world, not of the world. Of the world will have you calling whatever names they, they seem fit to call, right? We're meant to be in the world and to be a shining light and an example of the kingdom of heaven. And in order to do that, you have to have your individual relationship and you need to be set apart from the world. Right? Changing Yeshua's name also changes our perception of him and can easily lead to misunderstanding his words and his actions. Call him by his true name and receive the blessings of speaking the emet, the truth, right? That Yeshua is his name. And that's the truth. I always tell you what. Research it for yourself. If you are willing. To invest the time. 
in your individual relationship with the kingdom. Because not everyone is willing to do that. They want to, you know, they do their church on Sundays or whatever, whatever their holy day is. And they get their fill. And then right after that, it's back to the same business. And that's just reality. That's what people do. They live some kind of life all during the week, right? And then on whatever their holy day is, they go get their fill. And then it's right back to the ways of the world. But you can be set apart. And it starts with understanding their real names, using their real names, and watch what it does for your life. Hey, as always, I pray that you have had a blessed day, week, month, whatever it is, and understand that every little thing is in fact a victory, right? You woke up this morning, someone didn't. You have a job, someone doesn't. You know, you have a loving family, someone doesn't, right? All of these things are gifts that should not be abused or looked past. All right? Hey, this is Blake from New Vision Security Services. I hope that this brought you some clarification so that you can understand why I use their real names and I do not use their English names. All right? Take care. Stay safe. Understand and know that you are blessed and I'll see you on the next one.